disappear into the shell, and then I pop out as a crab. <laughs> and dog, and there's the problem is that there's food on the counter and that the dog can't reach, so the cat goes up onto the counter and knocks it over. <laughs> Ribbons, glitter, all that. Um, but then in the end, I'm a beefcake. And he follows the heart, he finds it, another one, and they fall. Princess Mara, I am sad. Louder finds. Finds the crown. My sister helped me. I find a tree with, um, I call it the swirl swirl fruit. I eat it and I start to transform and then I become a swirl man, you know, I'm like all crazy. Yep. <laughs> Theo is trying to give Elliot a flower. And they're doing hug time. Hug time. The best animation that you mm. can do is the ending scene where, you, where the things is fully animated, making character waves, mm -hmm. something like that. On, this, on the third panel right here, maybe keep it consistent with the water and the wave like that. A problem solving where 13, where 12 fictional Googleology symbols in order, they're from the smallest, which is the main character, Terminus Vindy Never, Endless Infinity A, the box number, the math point, axis limit, the true function, absolute breakdown, the base for the Dota T number dimension or beyond, absolute Googleology, absolute fictional numbers, the opposite. Player. That's amazing. Well, this is also a sign of good luck, which is all the characters are definitely very simple and easy. I'm hoping to one day be president. And this is my thank you speech to my mom. Right here where it says make movie. Then I go to make movie again. And then you go to more. <laughs>
shape of um, that character and just being step by step telling us how to do it was fantastic. It was cool. Probably adding the sounds. Sounds mix. Absolutely loved it. Danny is such a sweetheart, and her aunt Sandy is so patient and kind to and willing to make sure that Danny is able to help show us additional information, and Danny is able to be very thorough throughout her entire presentation as well. I think the fact that I was able to figure out how am I going to use the tablet to help really look at each part of weight as you're animating it's going to be moving. You're going to have this animation move and you're going to more or less have the tablet like show you the different stuff that you can use with this without having to feel like, oh, well, I'm going to just immediately like delete something that you didn't want to delete. And so it's super convenient. No, it wasn't that hard. I believe the coloring for me because it was like harder to like make sure like everything was like all detailed into one part. The hardest part? Trying to make sure there's absolutely no no openings anywhere with it here before coloring. I think the hardest part was um, like wanting to get started like in the um, uh, like in the creating, um, like having the computer in front of you, but I, I mean, I don't, I don't think it was like, oh, you're not allowed to touch it, but um, just to to have that excitement and to feel like it was um, delayed, like it wasn't anyone's fault, but like the technical issues. Um, and then I think also because it's, um, you guys are trying to condense like, um, write a traditionally like longer workshop into um, like a day, um, like it felt like it was like start and stop a little, um, but actually getting to the, to working with the program. Overthinking things. The hardest part was getting everything consistent. So like when you're drawing, um, making sure everything is the same, like frame after frame is pretty hard. The hardest part was how loud it was. If we could, uh, just, you know, like, like everyone talking at once. Honestly, when we had to come up with our own ideas for storyboard, I wasn't quite prepared for that, but it was really fun, and it does come with the prompts. Uh, probably make, making the lines uh, connect, like, exactly not having a little, even a tiny bit of space where the color goes, spills everywhere. I think coming up with the details for my own animation of what, what I want to do, because even though I'm very creative, it was just like, well, what do I really want to do? And how do I really want to present it without it seeming overcomplicated? Because I'm very complex and I'm like, I might as well do everything and everything, but can I do everything and everything without it being too much? So I had to minimalize what do I want to do in my own head. <laughs> I say nothing, everything's so, like magical as it is. Thank you guys so much. Now, I have all, have all the equipment and for, for the kinds of projects, and especially on how to make sure that everything after, in, in the future is not worse than the, than the previous ones. I mean, I almost wonder if, um, like, giving people time, um, to sort of like play with it um, at first to see what they can do um, might be um, like interesting. I think, because um, I think like we spend a lot of time on the specific tools, um, but I think depending on the audience, right? Like people know, okay, brush is brush, like eraser erases. Um, and certainly like someone might not immediately know the sub menus, um, but I think if you are doing a class for like a younger like generation, they might, you know, depending on their previous technological access, they may, um, that may come intuitively. Um, mm -hmm. And then to feel like, okay, yeah, you can um, start to play around with this. Like, um, I feel like it is like pretty straightforward with the like, okay, plus is like adding the new. Um, I didn't know how to turn off the onion 
um, skin. skin, yeah, or that that was called that. Well, I would not overthink things, and I would like relax more. And well, um, I think nothing really needs to change. Yeah, David has been to a million conferences before, and a lot of classes, and he's had a lot of opportunities to try different things. But I never got a text during the conference to say this is a really fun class. So I'm tearing up a little bit because I'm so glad we found something that lit his fire. Probably just more time, just having more time, which is something I guess is control, but that would be the most improved. Mm -hmm. mm, I think it's fine the way it is, and I hope a lot of people do it. I really enjoyed today's class. I enjoyed supporting Elijah. Uh, um, he was very, very excited to receive a tablet because I told him, you may not be able to keep the device that they give you, they're going to let you borrow it, but he really, really was hoping he would get to keep it, and then you all surprised him with being able to keep it. Um, the pace of the class was excellent. Danny did a very, very good job breaking things down for Elijah to be able to follow. She did a great job um, supporting him and jumping in when she needed to. And normally, Elijah would not be able to stay all day with this type of activity. During lunch, he did take a nap at lunch and he didn't want to come back, but he said, Mom, I really enjoy this. So I'm going to push and try really hard to finish the day. And we're at the end of the day and he pushed and he was able to do it. And I think it's because of the pace that Danny gave him and the, the enjoyment he's getting out of doing his craft and really being able to understand the art and work with it. So I'm very excited and Elijah is going to be getting signed up with Danny's one-to-one -one classes. Oh, more time. <laughs> That's the only thing. I don't think I would change anything. I'd probably try to come up with an idea first and then be able to be like, okay, how big is this idea going to be? And what can I limit on a piece of paper that's not going to be too much or too little for you to work with in the long run, more or less for myself or for someone else to look at and be like, oh, well, I want this or this, but not this or that. I don't think there is anything that needs to be changed because everything is amazing and so detailed within each step. And it's more or less just an amazing opportunity and I can't thank you all enough for it.